the Prop 8 debate rages on. Late today, California's highest court agreed to hear legal challenges to the state's new same-sex marriage ban. The state Supreme Court accepted three lawsuits seeking to overturn Proposition 8, a constitutional amendment which passed with 52% of the vote. The court did not elaborate on its decision. All three cases claim the Prop 8 abridges the civil rights of a vulnerable minority group and therefore voters alone did not have the authority to enact such a significant constitutional change. Local reaction is coming in from both sides of the issue tonight. Um, we expect the courts, federal courts, state courts, to be the arbiters of what's constitutional. And so uh, this is certainly a, a, a positive step, uh, but it is a long process. And so it's nice that there is still a process going on, that they didn't deny the writ. Is the initiative process the proper process? This had been vetted prior to spending the 70 plus million dollars and going through this whole uh, process uh, with a prior court challenge. So hopefully they'll address this quickly, expeditiously, and put this issue to rest. A court spokeswoman says oral arguments in this case could come as early as March. The high court has refused to allow gay couples to resume marrying until it rules on the measure's validity. Ever since California voters approved the ban on same-sex marriage earlier this month, there has been a backlash and protest by opponents of Proposition 8. And today, California's highest court agreed to hear legal challenges to Prop 8. 17's Tim Callahan in our newsroom with more. Tim. Well, Jim, the state Supreme Court accepted three lawsuits seeking to overturn Proposition 8, a constitutional amendment which passed with 52 percent of the vote. Although the court did not elaborate on its decision today, both sides of the issue are now talking. It's positive, but, you know, I mean, we've won and lost before, and so it's, it's hard to, at this point in the process to say, well, you know, we've got it in the bag. We don't. As the debate over Proposition 8 continues, an unexpected decision today, California's highest court agreed to hear legal challenges to the state's same-sex marriage ban. And opponents of Prop 8 reacted this afternoon. We have to see what the briefs say. We have to see what, uh, what both sides say in court uh, and how they can prove the constitutional issues. We have a long process ahead of us, but, uh, you know, it's good to be going through the process. Supporters of Prop 8 say they will rely on the judicial system to work swiftly and be fair. Hopefully, by doing this process that we've done and spent so much time and energy on, we're at the point where we have done a constitutional amendment. We've followed the procedures in, uh, that are in, uh, enshrined in our uh, procedures now with the Constitution in the state of California that they, the court will see fit to uphold this uh, process. Both sides say they're waiting to hear more from the courts, although a Supreme Court spokeswoman says oral arguments in the case could come as early as March. The high court refused to allow gay couples to resume marrying until it rules on the measure's validity. And, and our goal is you know, to continue to say that you know, gay and lesbian citizens of this nation expect to be equal someday. Now, Prop 8 is still in effect, and same-sex marriages are on hold in California. Both sides on this heated debate agree the issues are here to stay. Tammy? Same-sex marriages in California may be dead for now, but they're not buried. Late this afternoon, the court ruled it would hear three lawsuits that seek to overturn the voter-approved ban on gay marriage. All three cases claim Proposition 8 abridges the civil rights of a vulnerable minority group. They also argue that voters alone did not have the authority to enact such a significant constitutional change. Local residents on both sides of the issue say they'll rely on the judicial system to be fair. We have to see what the briefs say. We have to see what, uh, what both sides say in court uh, and how they can prove the constitutional issues. We have a long process ahead of us. but Hopefully, by doing this process that we've done and spent so much time and energy on, we're at the point where we have done a constitutional amendment. We've followed the procedures in, uh, that are in, uh, enshrined in our uh, procedures now with the Constitution in the state of California that they, the court will see fit to uphold this uh, process. A state Supreme Court spokeswoman says oral arguments in the case could come as early as March.